Y'all, let's talk. Let's have a conversation. What we not gonna do in 2021 is live in fear. In 2020, we lived in fear of our incomes, um, with the effect that COVID could have on our livelihood. Some people lost a ton. Not only did they lose income, but they lost their peace. They lost family members. They lost a lot, you know. Um, and it was a ton of fear associated with so much that was happening in 2020, right? But in 2021, we're not going to live in fear. We're not going to live in fear that others place on us. We're not going to live in fear based on what we see on our timelines and on the news. Whose report do you believe? And also, are you turning on the TV and reading articles online more than you are opening up your word? Whose report are you going to believe? Now, here's the thing. A lot of times we are inundated with fear based on what somebody else has told us, showed us some way, some form, right? But I encourage you to be bold in your faith and not allow other people's limitations of thought or their lifestyles or whatever to be penetrated into you. Regardless of what's happening in this world, you still have a purpose. You still have an assignment on your life. God's will still will be done. There has not been a time in life where tragedy and, and, and ugh, mayhem has not existed. It has always existed. But it does not remove the responsibility that you have to walk in faith and not be inundated with fear. Now, <clears throat> a lot of times when you share things with people they just automatically hit you back with a, with a response, right? The dangerous thing about that is it could just be a response for them. They're having a conversation. It's just a conversation for them. But to you, it can remove you from where you need to be and potentially prevent you from elevating to where you need to go according to God's will. Whose report are you going to believe? It is a new year, and we are not about to make moves in fear or stay stagnant in fear when God is still real. Come on now. And another thing, if you know, and you know this, if you know yourself to be a trailblazer, a person to do exceedingly above um, more than what the people do that you have associated with, you know, you know this, you know that if you're the, the eyeball out or the one who always take risks or live a life that is different from the people that you spend time with or that you care about, then you, you already know that it may not be the best idea to get approval or permission for someone in your circle, from someone in your circle, to do what it is that is in your heart to do. Now, you already know this. So, allowing the fear to penetrate you and to put you in a place of confusion, which is not works of the Lord. That is the enemy all day long. So, now you conflicted because you shared something with somebody who you knew did not have the vision or could not see past today, cannot see past that small town that you live in, can't see past the income that's currently in the bank account, can't see anything beyond what is tangible, what is right here in your hand. And God's word is the exact opposite of that. So when you put yourself in that position to share something with people or a person who have limited beliefs and have um, no desire to, to live the unknown and the unseen, do not be surprised when that fear and that doubt comes about. It is your responsibility to one, find people in your life who will value your values. If I call the closest people in my life right now and I say, I am about to go to Paris, move to Paris and live this life or go pursue my dream, they're gonna say, I'm praying for you. I love you. Do you need anything? They're not gonna say, oh my God, don't move there, COVID. Oh my, no, 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 no. 
No, because they know their position. They know mm, they aren't self-righteous in the fact that they, that they know what's best for me. God didn't give them that position just because you're older than somebody or just because um, you've, you went through something. You, you were somewhere in that neighborhood of what they're about to, you know, embark on is not your journey. But we are responsible for sharing those things with those people and wrestling with the fear. It's our responsibility. So you know that you have people in your circle like that. It is your responsibility to build a different tribe of support. And it's not a game. It's not something that we can be um, cavalier about because one thing's for sure and two things for certain. One, we don't live forever. And people are getting up out of here. That's not to incite fear. That's a fact, you know. We have to wake up in the morning with, and go to bed at night knowing that it is a privilege to live. It is a privilege to wake up in the morning and live life. The second thing is we may have been put on this earth to do one thing. One thing. And if you share with someone what it is that you want to do and it's right in line with hitting the target, hitting the mark of doing that thing that you was put on this earth to do. And that person discourage you, discourages you or just in, incites fear, you know. <clears throat> you could possibly miss the mark. This is not something that, you know, is here today and gone tomorrow. It is literally a thing that we have to keep in mind and be persistent about every single day. The enemy is the author of confusion. He is looking and lurking all around to use people and they don't even know they're being used. But you have to understand that being in prayer is of the utmost importance in these type of seasons. And when I mean specifically about being in prayer is asking God to give you the discernment what to take in and what to allow to pass you by because there is no way you can do all of what God has placed you on this earth to do while operating in a place of fear. I just feel really, really passionate about this. And I know that God put this on my heart for a reason. And I don't want to be cavalier about it because I know that there's somebody somewhere who is struggling with this because I too struggle with having people in my life who basically wanted to sort of low-key live my life for me and try to tell me everything to do and what not to do. And I'm just like, wait, 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 wait. What you telling me to do is conflicting what I just prayed about, what God told me to do. And I'm just like, wait, wait, wait. So for me, I had to eliminate the noise. I want to hear God's voice the loudest. I, won't, I don't even want to be louder than him. So I know that I'm not going to have people in my life that have become self-righteous and want to tell me or tell somebody I care about or tell my clients you know, how to live their life while all the while is pulling them away for the purpose or for just the life that God has for them. It's a better life. It's a peaceful life. It's a joyful life. You deserve it. But it's your responsibility to maintain it.